Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about another type of limitation or loss of the conventional qubit microfrequencies which is nothing but a gain bandwidth limitation. Gain bandwidth limitation or we can say the product of gain bandwidth how it limits the performance of the conventional tubes at microwave frequencies. Okay. So, gain bandwidth limitation, we know the definitions of gain and bandwidth, gain is nothing but which is, which is the output by input, gain is nothing but output by input, gain should be more when bandwidth is less, okay, actually gain and bandwidth both are reciprocal to each other, so as gain increases, bandwidth decreases, as gain decreases, bandwidth increases, both are uh, proportional uh, inversely proportional to each other and bandwidth is nothing but the range of frequencies over which the gain is constant okay so now the maximum gain when we are taking any conventional tube or conventional uh, uh, triode device is considered at high frequencies so the equivalent circuit we can draw it as i uh, will show it in the next slide so the maximum gain maximum gain is achieved when the tuned circuit is at resonance the maximum gain maximum gain is achieved at uh, Resonance, the maximum gain is achieved when the tuned circuit, tuned circuit is nothing but, which is nothing but RLC, okay, tuned circuit is nothing but, which consists of a resistance, capacitance and inductance and inductance L, resistance, capacitance and inductance. Now let us see the equivalent circuit of this one, equivalent circuit is drawn as, see here this is the equivalent circuit of this triode when we are drawing at the high frequencies. Okay, the constant current source we are taking it as a GM into VG and the resistances of the plate and the load RP which is the output uh, terminal RP and load resistance RL and capacitance and inductance which is a tank circuit. The resistance and inductance uh, resistances of these two RP and RL we can write them as parallel resistance. So, RP parallel R, RL we can write it as equivalent resistance sum or and capacitance and inductance which are acting as a tank circuit. Now, so in order to calculate the gain, in order to calculate the gain, the transfer function we need to consider V naught of S divided by V i of S. V naught of S divided by V i of S, we can say it as Z naught of S, Z naught of S. So by applying this Laplace transform to the parallel product, uh, parallel circuit in the figure and replacing that RL and RP by RL, RL, just R is equal to some parallel connection of RP and RL. So applying Laplace transform to the parallel circuit as shown in this figure and replacing replacing RL and RP with equivalent resistance R that is equal to 1 by RL um, plus 1 by RP. 1 by R is equal to 1 by RL plus 1 by RP and we can say R is equal to RP into RL by RP plus RL. So, 
1 by z naught of s is equal to y naught of s admittance that is equal to we are writing the equivalent because they all are in parallel connection so we, let us it is better to go for the admittance instead of impedance so 1 by ls plus c into s plus 1 by r that is equal to r plus r l c s square plus ls divided by r L S. So Z naught of S is equal to R L S divided by just reciprocal of this one R plus L S plus R L C S square. Okay, take R L C common from this one. So that is equal to after simplification and simplifying R L C taking R L C common. So, R L S divided by R L C S square plus S by R C plus 1 by L C. R L R L cancel. So, it is S by C divided by S square plus S by R C plus 1 by L C. So, the characteristic equation is given in the denominator part. So, the quadratic equation for this uh, extreme frequency is omega 1, omega 2 and calculating its bandwidth. So, we need to calculate the bandwidth because the bandwidth is completely lying inside the frequency where the frequency is there in the denominator. That's why we are taking the denominator part and simplifying. After simplifying, the denominator So, omega 1, omega 2 is equal to minus 1 by RC. Okay, minus B square root of B square minus 4AC. Using that formula, we are writing this. Minus 1 by RC square root of 1 by RC whole square B square minus 4AC 1 by LC by 2A. 2 into 1, 2A. So that is equal to minus 1 by 2 RC plus or minus 1 by RC whole square minus 1 by LC. So therefore, omega 1, let us consider omega 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 RC minus square root of 1 by 2 RC whole square minus 1 by LC. So, bandwidth we know and omega 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 RC, another one is plus square root of 1 by 2 RC whole square minus 1 by LC. Okay, so bandwidth, bandwidth B W is equal to omega 2 minus omega 1. So that is equal to, after simplifying this, we will get 1 by RC. 1 by RC, actually it is 1 by 2 uh, minus minus cancel and remaining every parameter is going to be cancelled and left with 1 by 2 RC whole square under root. So that's why it is, bandwidth is equal to 1 by RC. So now gain bandwidth product, gain bandwidth product, okay, as both are reciprocal to each other, so gain bandwidth product, gain is equal to A is equal to V naught of S, VI of S, that is equal to Z naught of S into GM VG by VG. Output is equal to input applied uh, current into this Z naught of S. Okay, nothing but that is output voltage V naught of S that is equal to Z naught of S into GM VG by VG. GM VG, VG VG gets cancelled and now we will be having that is equal to 
z naught of s into gm this is the gain formula now at resonant frequency gain is maximum resonant frequency a becomes maximum so a max is equal to r into gm so therefore gain bandwidth product a max into bandwidth is equal to a max is nothing but r into gm into bandwidth is calculated as 1 by rc so gm by c so the gain bandwidth product is equal to gm by c if you see this notation gm by c there is no frequency component involved here okay that means at high frequency or at low frequency this gain bandwidth will not be affected by the variation in the frequency okay so the gain bandwidth product is independent of the gain bandwidth product is independent of frequency but to achieve maximum gain the bandwidth should be kept the bandwidth should be kept minimum and vice versa because both are inversely proportional to each other so in microwave circuits in microwave circuits the limitations can be overcome by using one is re-entrant cavities and second one is slow wave tubes SWTs slow wave tubes so these are the somewhat remedies to avoid those problems what we have studied so far uh, one is the use of re-entrant cavities another one is the slow wave tubes okay we will see all these in the uh, coming videos this is about the gain bandwidth product and uh, one more effect is there effect of uh, rf losses that we will discuss in the one more two more effects effect of rf losses and as well as uh, uh, radiation loss okay we will see those two in the next video thank you